Hi guys, welcome to CA Inter Financial Management. Here we start away with our MCQs of this subject. We have already finished every MCQ of paper 4 that's costing. Arrange playlist wise every possible MCQ that is there in the module is all covered up and we are trying to be doing extra MCQs of costing also. That is available uh, to our regular course students. Apart from that, for financial management, we are going to be doing all the MCQs which are there in the module first and then our own MCQs. Request you all to join our Telegram channel for the further updates. Link of that is given in the description below. And for those students who are interested in the regular course, kindly read the description. So let's start it off. Now everybody do understand that in the new course, MCQs are super important. So let's try to be getting 100% marks at least in the MCQs. So let's start it off. We are doing a chapter of ratios. So the MCQ number one. Ratio of net sales to net working capital is a, okay. Bring me the four options, please. Four options, profitability ratio, okay. B, liquidity ratio. C, in this case, is current ratio. And D is working capital turnover ratios. Think of the correct answer and put that in the comments below, please. Think, think, think. Get the right answer. Sorry, your time is completely over. See, you have to be doing ratio of net sales to net working capital. Let's try to explore at the options. A, profitability ratio. Profitability ratios are of many types here. But at least profitability ratio should speak of profit, no? In net sales and in net working capital, there is no profit. Okay, so that's not the correct answer. B, liquidity ratio is your quick ratio. That is quick assets upon quick liabilities. That is not whatever the question is asking. C, current ratio, that's current assets upon current liabilities. That's not what the question is asking you. And as far as D goes, let me continue with the explanation. Now, working capital turnover ratio. See, there has to be some ratio that tells you how efficiently you are using your funds to generate the sales. And hence, many kind of turnover ratio starts to be coming. You have fixed assets turnover ratio. You have current asset turnover ratio. And obviously, you all have working capital turnover ratio. So working capital turnover ratio that we all have done is like this. It is net sales upon, to be very honest, it should be average working capital because net sales is there for a year. So therefore, denominator has to be taken as a figure that represents the entire year. But in the question that was not there, so therefore, I have not mentioned. Now, net sales upon working capital, just a small example, if net sales is 10 lakhs, working capital invested is 1 lakh, that means the ratio is 10 times or it is 10 is to 1. That means that for every rupee invested, you are generating sales of rupees 10 and that is whatever I have put it in the objective. What is the objective? How much sales is generated for every rupee of working capital invested? So therefore, our question now will be getting answered. Ratio of net sales to net working capital is nothing but working capital turnover ratios. So therefore, answer should be D. That's the correct answer. I'll see you all next time. Bye. Thank you.